of strange guys and the only way to purge them from my life is to show them to you and then I stop watching them because I've already looked at them all. The last few videos have been pretty kind of heavy so I thought we could do a fun chill video where I just kind of spoof on a guy that I found. Taylor the Fiend, that's his name. He's an animated vampire cartoon misogynist guy. That's how I would describe him. He's like a goth incel elf that's emo or something. I don't know. You'll get girls who will join law school. You'll get girls who will, you know, go into medical fields and stuff like that. They'll want to become a nurse and some of these girls man that to be quite honest what they're doing is they're jumping into the field so that they can latch onto the men at the top and then just not work and kind of go with you know ride his coattails so to speak let's go oh dude he's manosphere and he's a vtuber oh that's fucking awesome that is a perfect and i mean Perfect fucking compy. That is an incredible collaboration of forces that I absolutely... He's not even a VTuber, right? He's a PNG tuber, technically. Is he moving? Did I see him moving? Wait, he can... You'll get girls who will join law school. You'll get girls who will, you know, go into medical fields and stuff like that. They'll want to become a nurse. And some... You know what's fucked up? Vamps are not like this, Okay. This guy is disrespecting Playboy Cardi's entire fan base by overtaking vamps and becoming a vamp cell. The, the V-Lone Warriors would not stand for this. They love big nurses. The V-Lone Warriors, the vamp cells, the true vamp cells, the Playboy Cardi fans, okay? They're about to get so mad at this guy. Especially because Playboy Cardi himself is like, you know, almost, almost came out a little bit. Like a little bit, if you guys were following that. Anyway. Some of these girls, man, to be quite honest, what they're doing is they're jumping into the field so that they can latch onto the men at the top and then just not work and kind of go with, you know, ride his coat. What do you do, motherfucker? What do you do? What do you mean? Get a job. 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 You're literally a vampire. You're LARPing as a vampire on the internet. Talking shit about fucking nurses? Are you insane? Get a job. Get a job. Have you seen what a fucking job application looks like? No. Because you're trying to be a fucking vampire on YouTube. Get a fucking job. Any job. Says you. Yeah, well, the, the difference is I'm, you know, I'm successful enough. I can say it. Tell, so to speak. For some reason, it doesn't show how many subscribers he has, and I don't know why that is. But if we go to his channel, we can see he has uh, 50 million views. And he's only been uploading for like one year. So what kind of content does this guy make? Well, let's, why don't we look, okay? I got a divorce. 30 plus year old woman divorces her husband only to find out the grass isn't greener. Insane woman gets annihilated by Chad, refuses to take accountability. Woman goes into a rage on TikTok after being rejected by men. 30 plus year old woman regrets waiting so long to find a man. You'll notice a pretty consistent theme with these thumbnails. It's just pictures of women and then cartoon reaction guy. And basically the whole thing is like this for eternity. It's just pictures of women. They did something bad. We're roasting him. SMH my head. Look at all these woms. He uploads like five times a day. I don't know where his supply of videos is coming from, but it's basically limitless. Just looking through these, you can see how consistently they're being posted and the views are like really high. Four videos in the past day, 40,060 60,000, 40,000, 78,000, 79,000, 231,000. Like, this is so much. So why don't we watch some of this content and see what's kind of going on here. So My favorite thing is like, like homie just straight up, if he put his face out there, that would be the argument. You know what I mean? That would be the end of the argument, right? Because you could understand why a lot of this, like where a lot of this resentment is coming from. But because of that, he's like, no, I'm actually a sexy vampire guy. It's like, are you? Are you a sexy vampire guy? Like, you, you, you're Morbius, dude? You know? Really? That's what, that's what you did? Okay. Well, I just got out of a six-year-long marriage, and I'm entering the dating world as a single mom. 
it has been an adventure. Okay, really quickly, it's so funny because he always plays the full clip at the start. So it's just some lady talking and his grinning anime avatar, like standing there like frozen. <laughs> no matter how long the clip is, he doesn't interrupt it. So it could be just like four minutes straight of him like, it has been an adventure. And the other night I went on a first date and on the way to the date, I started to get worried that I was not dressed up nice enough. I was wearing jeans and Timberland boots because it was cold and I was like, man, what's this guy gonna be wearing? But when I got there, he was in sweatpants and a long sleeve t-shirt. So I wasn't worried anymore. And yes, I looked at him and I said, why are you wearing sweatpants? And he said verbatim, because I do not give a so here we have a divorced single mother who has divorced her husband and she has gone back out into the dating market and she has come to realize that the grass is not greener on the other side. Oh my god, that's his voice. He is a voice changer. Oh no. Oh no, he's using a voice changer. Unacceptable, dude. Real vamps? Real vamps? They do this voice on their own! You wanna be Cardi? Oh! The street market! That's fucked up. This guy's a fake vamp, dude. Get him. Playboy Cardi subreddit. Get this guy. Get this guy out of here. You wanna be Cardi? That bitch is a baby! <laughs> oh! Sorry. You know, a lot of these women guys, they, oh, uh, yeah. they believe in the strong and independent women narrative and they go out here. I mean, he pro he's not like modulating it that much, but you can tell. Like, oh, yeah, oh, it's fucking crazy. He's also an oi bro, so that's another L. Yeah. They divorce their husbands and they realize, oh, crap, men are not committing to me. Men are not interested in me. Men don't care anymore about me. Okay, why can't you just step up and wife up a divorced single mother? And you know what, guys? I have no sympathy for these women who, you know, fail to stay with their husbands. All right, so there's a lot going on there. Let's try and break that down. It's the women's fault for not keeping their husbands. That's why divorces. Wait, like, what if fucking, what if he was, like, abusive, bro? What the fuck? Like, what? He's Australian? Sorry. Sorry, mate. I, I am a defender of Aussies and Kiwis, so... I automatically, when I see cringe content, as a defender, as an avowed defender and supporter of Australians, Kiwis, I will immediately say, like, oh, no, actually, it's British. You know what I mean? So you don't have to correct me like that. This happened, and therefore, the punishment that they receive when men don't love them in the dating market is 100% deserved because it was their fault from the start. You can see the way he's using this like massive generalization about women. It's like weirdly punitive. On today's show, guys, we are going to be kicking it off by breaking down a clip from this woman right here who is a freshly divorced single mother. Based on nice. my experience of doing the Fresh and Fit video and then now having all of these guys recommended to me, there's similar ones which I'll go into. They're all all selling a one-sided narrative that women are the problem, it's women's fault, so they are providing a sense of security in your decision to stop dating. If you've got a girlfriend and you want to lose her real quick, just go and cry in front of her a few times and tell her your feelings. Yeah, basically, no woman wants to hear that. Modern women doesn't know how to be a wife, but knows how to get divorced. She says six year long marriage as if it's 26 years. I'm so freaking sick of hearing single mother of two, single mother of four, single mother. Like we should feel sorry for their stupid decisions. They are destroying the family unit with their selfishness. There are a lot of females, very few women. Smiley winky PC. So you get the general vibe of what kind of community. I mean, this mother, none of those dudes have ever been around women since they came out of a pussy that's the last time bro if the last time you saw a pussy was when you came out of one you don't get to talk on this okay they're like huh, females <laughs> losing their you know destroying the family unit it's like shut the fuck up dude you are you are literally god damn dude holy shit for good reason you're not going to be able to repopulate okay
your fault and you should know that this fosters right a baseline sort of resentment for women and a rejection of the pursuit of relationships are you sick and tired of youtubers doing their bullshit ad reads all the time do you want to just get to the video sometimes well too bad because <laughs> this video is sponsored by surfshark vpn so that's crazy because you guys here get sick and tired of the top of the hour ad break that comes literally perfectly at the top of the hour every hour sometimes and obviously like unrelated to the sponsor here unrelated to the sponsor but it's like one there are some methods that you can avoid there are some methods you can use to avoid the top of the hour ad break i don't i don't know why the sponsor is relevant in this situation obviously it's not <clears throat> but uh, you know you can subscribe for five dollars or for free or definitely not use the sponsor that he's using um don't you know, make yourself look like you're watching from india or something that was certainly not work um here's the woman ad break now okay just run the damn ads here it is <sighs> guy who's a friend of mine who works in a trading card store watches this guy constantly he wastes his time on this incel shit like what noah or the fucking cringe vamp guy Free stuff. It's good, man. All right, back to the video now. Hi. You know, you just change your pair whenever you feel like it because Big Daddy government will come in and subsidize your life if you choose to remove a man. But what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again. Just a brief welfare queen shout out before we... Can I just say something? Do these think... Do these people think like women only breed women or something? Like, if Big Daddy government doesn't help uh, single uh, parents, like, what do you think happens to the child? The male child. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think is going to happen to him? Why is it that, like, incels always think that, like, women are only breeding other women and therefore, like, shouldn't get welfare or something? Like, they have to believe that, right? Anyway. We start our show today. Yo, what if Bloodborne had neoliberalism? There's also a lot of like incel terminology going on here. So I have decided that I'm now getting a side hustle as a women empowerment coach. I can allow these ladies to ride the CC. CC is the cock carousel. Cock carousel. An idea perpetrated on Manosphere blogs that women casually sleep around in their 20s with hot non-committal player types. Then supposedly when they hit their 30s and lose their looks, they realize they wasted their prime man snagging years and became desperate to settle down often with a boring dependable flavor of guy they previously had no interest in karen spent her late 20s riding the cock carousel with a bunch of guys in bands that just wanted sex that's awesome that's a report right there a bunch of guys in bands this just smells like fucking uh specialty flavored root beer that you can only get at a gas station in minnesota okay and you're 35 years old and you wrote that Okay. I'm just saying, like, you're, you're such a pathetic fucking divorced dad loser that a uh, brand that, like, I can map out exactly what brand of fucking divorced dad loser you are to say, bunch of guys in bands that just wanted sex. Incels will literally write their own type of theory about female hypergamy without fucking learning the, the, the the truth about dialectical materialism just like read fucking hegel or something i mean i hate philosophy but god damn dude i mean these motherfuckers need an outlet like they literally need an outlet they need an outlet they need to like read something they're just like making this insane shit up this is what happens when they move uh, away from materialist uh, uh materialist understanding <clears throat> Now she's 33, past her prime, and dating an accountant who she's pressuring to have kids with. So obviously this is fucking unhinged, but what it promotes is that anytime you encounter a woman who is single and over the age of 25, that is entirely her fault, and you can never trust this person because they should be held accountable for their mistakes or whatever. And here's the thing, right? I really don't have a problem with any type of self-improvement content. Like people who want to be career focused and do that so they don't spend as much time dating, or they want to be focused on their- Good for insults? Yes. I do. Because 
the reason why I think Zizek is really good for incels is because like when I give incels advice, they're like, fuck you, you're hot. Like the only, you, what the fuck do you know? You know what I mean? You're privileged. Whereas like Zizek has a fucking smoke show of a wife and literally is like fucking double glizzy duff half the time and looks like shit. I'm sorry. He just does. He just looks like shit. He looks very dirty. That's why we call him a raccoon. He looks like he is dumpster diving. Like all the time. Oh, yes. I think that incels can like look to that. Which, by the way, is ironic because like Marx also was famously disgusting. Like literally disgusting. I mean, I often like make fun of anarchists and stuff, but like um, when he was uh, being monitored by the police, um, they took notes about the way he lived and they were in awe. Like they were shocked at the way that he existed in a, in a, <clears throat> in filth, like straight up in filth, no showering, sleeping throughout the day, sometimes working throughout the night. Anyway, let's continue fitness or they want to travel or whatever, whatever type of thing you all I'm saying is Marx would have been a fucking Karl Marx would have been a Twitch streamer want to be doing that's all totally fine but also you want to ask the question why why are they doing that why are they deciding to focus solely on themselves and the vibe i get from this space is that they're doing it because women are the problem and that's bad i don't it's like if you're gonna do self-improvement stuff do it because you want to not because you think there's no hope of ever finding a proper relationship you know i actually believe her when she uses the word adventure okay because what these like it amazes me that we've got a whole bunch of men going out here choosing willingly, Lord knows why, to date these single mothers. And then they think that like any form of quote unquote connection that they build with these women is actually real. It's weird because it's not like he's saying, you know, you know, if you're getting into dating and someone has a kid and you, you don't want to take on that responsibility, you feel like you're too young, you feel like you're not ready <laughs> for doing that, you can just say so. Instead of that, it's like any single mom looking to get into a relationship should be completely shunned by society and punished. Uh, very weird. So I just got out of a six year long marriage and I'm entering the dating world as a single mom. It has been an adventure. Yeah, I bet. Guys, take note of the word that this woman used right here. She's been out on an adventure. Do you want to wife up, a re-wife up, excuse me, a girl who has gone on an adventure, you know, been up. on adventures with dudes? I don't know uh, if that's the word you'd want to hear, but hey, maybe you're into that. Guys, you all know what, she, what women mean when they say they want to go hiking. It means they want to climb up onto all these penises. No mountains, no trails, none of that. Just pe wieners everywhere. Adventure time, the show is hentai, actually. You'll get a lot of questions from guys guys saying crap like why doesn't my wife dress up for me anymore why doesn't my girlfriend dress up for me crap like that but she'll go out dressed up to the town notice how this woman is going out to re you know meet an essentially random dude and she is concerned that she is dressed up in my view not dressed down enough so notice how she says she doesn't feel dressed up enough because she what was he supposed to come naked like well, how would he be more dressed down for a first date Also, that's a self-report. I'm sorry to do this, but like basically showed the rest of the world with that one statement that you've never, you don't understand the concept of dating. Like you've never had a date. Oh, with essentially a fucking dude that's, uh, you know, a stranger. It's like, well, yeah, that's dating, you fucking idiot. That's like, if it wasn't for the vampire avatar that he uses, or the voice modulator, or the fact that he's made multiple compilations about, like, random women on TikTok being like, oh, my dating life sucks. If that wasn't enough, look to him literally going, <clears throat> can't believe you're fucking going on a diet with a random stranger. I mean, yeah, that's, that's dating. You're... I know, wild concept, but it's kind of how that works. She's too covered up because it's cold. 
right? Yeah, that should tell you everything you need to know, guys. Well, what is it? Taylor, what does that tell you? How does that tell you everything you need to know? <laughs> wait, wait. Guys, she says she wants to wear a shirt instead of a sweater. Case and point, folks. Divorce her, even though you're not even married. These girls say like, oh, I go out on the town for myself with my girls just to have some fun. It's like you, you dress the way you do to get attention from dudes, which is cool. But like, let's just not lie about it, eh? Okay, I get- It's not cool. He's not saying it's actually cool. Get it, you're wearing a shirt. But let's not act like that shirt isn't so that you can rip it off in the Starbucks and show it to everyone your boobies and not me. <laughs> and yes, I looked at him and I said, why are you wearing sweatpants? And he said, verbatim, because I do not give a So- And uh, these girls sure know how to pick them, don't they? Right? For girls who say that they want caring, compassionate men, it's just super convenient, right? It just has to be one of the most convenient things on the face of the planet. What? How they always seem to end up, you know, having these uh, fun adventures, shall we say, with dudes who, quote, literally don't give a damn about what they even wear to said event. Taylor, it was their first date. Why is it her fault that the guy showed up in sweats? Like, you see the circular logic here, right? You know, guys, girls always say they want to find a man that's a good man, but then they go out and find men that aren't good men. Fucking idiots. All you have to do to find a good man is find a good man. It's, if you don't find a good man, it's your fault. But also, if you're a good man, you should never date a woman. So, joke's on you. I'm extremely confused. I would much rather watch what the people say rather than what they do. And these girls, they spend all of their time Chasing dudes who don't give a crap. Don't believe me, guys. See how much time girls spend on their phones, right? You, you, like, it's insane. Wow, we are off to a... <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Guys, these girls, man, they just... You You guys all know how girls be shop... Women be shopping. You know that, right? They just can't find good men these days, man. Because they're just spending too much time at Victoria's Secret or... or or texting. And yeah, so this video is just 37... It's your fucking secret, Victoria. Huh? What's your fucking secret? What are you hiding, Victoria? <clears throat> That's right. Talk about there for a minute. Tell you what. Seven minutes of that. He does uh, pick on some different women. Why don't we search for his most popular video? Response. He didn't stick around. Girls are realizing men aren't committing anymore. Okay. okay. Put a finger down if you match with a guy on Hinge and he's literally your Prince Charming. Like tall, dark, and handsome. I'm talking 6'4". So not only that, he's the best texter you've ever texted. He's smart, witty, sarcastic, just all of the above. Great. We love it. So you're planning your first date. He offers to pick you up. But not only that, he makes sure that you're comfortable with it first. Like he, he asked. When I get outside, he's waiting outside of the car and says, I have two rules for you tonight. You don't touch the door handles, car doors, restaurant doors, etc. You also don't touch the bill. That's all me. From there, I'm sold. Prince Charming is literally, I'm in the car with Prince Charming next to me. The date goes amazing. Sparks are flying. We have everything in common. He has a big boy job, makes big boy money, does all the big boy things. 